<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Koraima and I'm a pilot who loves makeup. Today we have a special guest. Shay! Yay! She's my best gal pal and we decided to collab. So look out for a second video with us and plenty more to come. In this video, we had Instagram choose our makeup for us and they decided on us doing a fall look. Yes. So Shay did this really pretty cranberry smoky eye and I did this um, autumn leaf inspired look. So if you wanna see us do these awesome looks, then keep on watching. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm gonna just... I wish I had brown eyes sometimes. You can do more looks. Like Whatever, your eyes are so pretty. <clears throat> I know, I just feel like I can only do the same colors over and over again. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna fuck this up. Oh, I'm gonna call this the Taco Bell Brown. The Taco Bell. <laughs> I need this yellow to be bold. <laughs> Would you rather the aliens that make first contact be robotic or organic? Where's our oh like like human life? Okay, so you know you know what? Probably organic, because then you can kill them. Yeah, because if it's like a transformer, if they're, yeah, like, if they're like the fucking Terminator, <laughs> if they're then how are we gonna fight them happen. off? They're gonna yeah. be I I feel like aliens are far advanced oh, or yeah. like different type of technology. Aliens, aliens built the pyramids. Facts, <laughs> real facts. But y'all are not ready for that, that conversation. conversation. <laughs> what if they come to Earth and they they literally come in clones, like our alternate selves in an alternate universe? Like, they come from an alternate like universe. Yeah, they're us, but not <laughs> us. Well, they they definitely if if I have a clone, they definitely not gonna be in the military. So they gonna be living <laughs> my real best life. <laughs> Your best self. Yeah. Yeah. I like how Shauna is her own screensaver. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Mood. I mean, I don't really know what else to put on there. Rude. Oh, that is a long Bruh. train. Rude. This train has been <laughs> tooting its horns for like 20 freaking minutes. Bruh. Rude. <laughs> that car about to fall apart. I hate that when you're at a light and the the boo boo cars pull up next to you and they be trying to race <laughs> <laughs> and their exhaust about to fall off. So, oh my I'm gosh, should I tell them? Funny. Should I tell them about my ghost story in BMT? Yeah. <gasps> okay. 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 So, one time, it was like. I don't know what week we were in. When we were doing EC duty? Yeah, were you oh, on EC? Yes. Now, I don't think I was with you, but I've done EC and I was so scared to go in the bathroom because our flashlights wouldn't work in the bathroom. Okay, okay. Oh. Ooh. Okay, so, <laughs> so it was like, it was in the middle of the night. 12 o'clock midnight. Lights out, everybody is asleep, but I have to pee. So I got up to use the bathroom. And like in BMT, we have to wear our our chanclas, like our flip flops, our shower shoes around because you can't walk around bare, barefoot because it's like a rule. And it's dirty anyway. Yeah, it's dirty anyway. So, uh, it like the chanclas had like a distinct. They have a distinct sound, you know, like yeah. the <laughs> the flop 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 flop. <laughs> yeah, and the door, like you could hear the door open like in in the bathroom okay yeah so i go into the bathroom <clears throat> i turn on the light because nobody's in the bathroom and i go to the stall i am using the bathroom and i hear the door open and chanclas you know i hear somebody walking in i hear chanclas stepping into two stalls next to me all right they go into the bathroom stall close the door lock it and I'm like, okay, somebody else is in here. Like, yeah. I'm not scared because it sounds like one of my BMT sisters. I thought it was one of the girls. So I'm finishing my business. I'm washing my hands. And I was going to leave and turn off the light. But then I remembered somebody's in there. 
So naturally, I'm gonna like double check. Like I turned around, I'm like, oh, there's somebody in here. And I look, like look underneath to see where they're at so I can see who it is. Uh oh, nobody's there. <laughs> Shauna, nobody was <laughs> there. But remember that stall on the very end stall was bent, and they said that someone hung themselves from that stall. Do you remember? Yeah. That? And we asked my sergeant Johnson, and she wouldn't even. She was like, I can't. Yeah. Say anything yeah. About it. it was like I looked it up though. You can look it up on really? Google. Yes, I swear to God. <gasps> oh my God. Because well, that dorm was not even supposed to be open, um, but they were over capacity. Because I remember when our bus drove past Disney World, and I was like. Oh my god, we're going to the old <laughs> 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 So there's nobody in there and I'm freaking out like instantly like I felt like all like I went pale like everything flush I was just like super scared <laughs> I immediately open the door and I like freeze Like you know how like you open the door you run out the door and you're you're just like frozen so that that's what I was, and the the EC girls ran uh -huh. up to me. And they're like, "Chavez, what's wrong?" And I was like, "Is there? Oh did anybody God. did anybody go in there?" And they're like, "No, it was just you." Because you know how in EC yeah. duty you write you how many to, people yeah. go into go the, to bathroom. the bathroom. I forgot about that. Oh, nobody shit. went in there. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> I was dead. I was so scared. Like, I felt like. I, I couldn't, like, legit, I would have to wake up my friend every single time I had to use the bathroom yeah, at night time. that's so scary. Like, we made it a pack not to go to the bathroom by ourselves at night. Yeah. A whole yeah. ass ghost. I used to be so scared because our flashlights would stop working. In the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, and it would freak me out because I, I very strongly believe in ghosts, and I've had my own experiences in my lifetime, so... Do you I'm see good. do you see dead people? No. But I've seen <laughs> ghosts before. For real? Tell me a ghost story. When I was actually when I was younger, um, like I had a dresser with a mirror and stuff on it and um a, like a couple people in my family had just passed away. And um I was laying on my bed one night and I was like facing my mirror and um I just seen like a white like shadow figure like go past my mirror and like I like I knew like what I saw so my whole body just froze like I was so fucking scared I wanted to like yell for my mom I was probably like 12 and I was so freaking scared I just didn't know what to do so I just like put the blanket over my head and then woke up and like told my family about it but after that day every single night I would sleep with the blanket over my mirror oh my god and I did that for like three years oh my yeah god. my whole family made fun of me and it took me it was really hard to sleep without a blanket over the mirror because I was so scared because like I knew exactly what I saw and like my family believed <clears> me and stuff because they're like why is this bitch sleeping with the blanket on her mirror every night <laughs> and I made a huge deal about it but also they say with um with like spirits and stuff that kids have more of a connection to them because it's easier to get that energy yeah and um when my great grandma actually passed away um before i was born so i never got to meet her and um but i had this little picture of her on my headboard when i was a kid when i was like really really little and uh, a nightgown that had her picture on it that i actually still have and she would like come to me in my dreams and she would like tell me things and that me being like four years old i would never know about her because i'm four and i never met her mm -hmm. and i would like wake up and go tell my mom things about her and my mom would just like cry and she'd be like like freaked out but like whoa like that's so crazy you know mm -hmm. and um i just remember like i would look at her picture every night before i would go to sleep and i felt like i knew her you know because she oh would come God. to me in my dreams but i never <clears throat> I never knew her, but I never had like dreams That's after crazy. that, like once I got older. Yeah. And my grandma, my grandma, my other grandma, she passed when I was 12, but she didn't believe in that kind of stuff. But my mom told her like, you know, when you pass away, like give us a sign that you, you know, made it to heaven what? and you're okay. And we told her to do it through the house phone so that it wouldn't like freak us out when we knew like it was her. <gasps> and um, like I two see. weeks after she passed away, we got a phone call from some random number and we weren't sure who it was so we called them back and they said well we're, we got this really strange voicemail from a lady that said her name was judy 
and we couldn't oh, I make got the out, chills. and we couldn't make out what she, I got chills now too, <gasps> and we couldn't make out what she was saying on the voicemail, but we just got her name, and it said, please call this number, which was your number, and like, it was this older guy, and like, my mom just started crying, because she didn't have like, enough energy to like, directly like, call our house phone, but she made it a way to like, so we knew that that was her. Oh my god. And we had saved that voicemail from that guy for like a long time. And then um, obviously house phones aren't a thing anymore. I don't know what happened to it. But like yeah. that was so crazy. But it's just so cool because like she didn't believe in that kind of stuff. Yeah. But it took like two weeks after she passed for her to do that. And I had a dream about her as well. But in my dream she was just like walking up the stairs in my house like to come give me a hug. And I just remember like hugging her. And she was, like, wearing my favorite shirt that I liked on her. And I could, like, feel it. And, like, I could smell her. And, like, it was just, like, a hug, like, in my dream. And I knew, like, she was okay. And that is that's, crazy. like, yeah, that was, like, the last, like, real dream, like, I had of her. But it was, it was pretty interesting. Pretty crazy. And every picture I have of me, like, on a regular, like, flashlight camera, like, the old-fashioned disposable cameras and stuff, mm -hmm. um, there's orbs around me in Ooh. every single picture with, and if you're not familiar, orbs are, like, little, like, balls of energy that yeah. you can see in photos, and they're always around me. Oh, my God. Because my mom says that, like, those are, like, my, my family and my guardian mm -hmm. angels. Yeah. You could capture it through, through yeah. photos. But, like, my sister never had that um like you're gifted yeah. i wish my bird would come to me in my dream or something i miss my birds i feel like if you were a witch your familiar would be a bird oh yeah definitely so my family is like full of healers and mm -hmm. like we all have different gifts really like we're yeah. not all the same but we have like different abilities mm -hmm. <clears throat> like for instance my brother he has the um, they have, they call it like the, he has healing hands, mm -hmm. or like the hands of God or something. Yeah. So like, um, whenever he like massages you, he like, oh, it wow. actually heals you, you know? Yeah. But for me, um, people from, like I have a connection to the other side, mm -hmm. whether it's through dreams or it's through yeah. um, seeing things um, yeah. or like flashbacks or like mm -hmm. seeing into the future, you know, like yeah. I'm very clairvoyant. Yeah. And I'm also an empath, which means, like, I can uh, feel energy yeah. and emotion. I heard about that. A lot of, like, ghosts appear to me. Yeah. But I don't have the ability. I've never seen a ghost's face. I've never seen, like, yeah. their face to face. The only thing I see is their legs. Like, their it's lower, kind of, that's like like their own, their lower body. Yeah. Like, it's weird. Kind of creepy, yeah. But this one time... Um... Hold on, let me just cut this crease. Uh, I was in college and um, I was at this, my college campus has like a, it has this old preserved um, neighborhood that they didn't tear oh. down. Like it's like preserved, like it's a oh. historic, That's cool. it had like a little strip. It a looked like a little, like yeah, yeah, it looked like a little, um, like an old little street, you know? Yeah. So, <laughs> Um, I, one of those buildings actually is called, it was a staff lounge, so only staff members can go in there and order food. Mm -hmm. Um, my mom was a staff, is a staff member at the college that I was attending to. Mm -hmm. And so, like, I would go in and order breakfast burritos because they had really good breakfast burritos there. Yeah. So, I'm sitting, and it's like an old house, like, it's a preserved house, like, oh, cool. yeah, so... It's like a little cafe in an old house. And I'm like sitting on the couch in the living room waiting for my breakfast burrito. And I'm just like looking at like the structure of the house. Like it's a cute little cottage house. Like it just looks so cute. Like I just imagined like I I wonder who lived here. Like I'm sure yeah. like people, li whoever lived here like had a good life. Like that's what I felt. Yeah, cute like, little. Yeah, like I just pictured like kids running around in yeah. the house, in the living room. Like I just had that vision, you know. I got, like yeah. I was getting that sort of energy. Nothing negative, nothing. And then as soon as I was done with that vision or like that thought, train of thought, mm -hmm. I see like on the side, cause like I'm in the living room, but then there's another like room a, like that you can see. Kind of? Yeah, the okay. dining room. 
where is the that's where the cash register was and that's where you order mm -hmm. and it leads to it has like the door to the kitchen oh okay. yeah so the you could see people going in and out through the kitchen mm -hmm. because it's like connected to that room well i saw like uh i saw a, a lady with a long black dress and like black boots oh like Hell old no. like old fashioned like no. nothing modern nothing <laughs> you know but i just i saw this this mm -hmm. lady walk like this right there stop and turn to look at me and automatically like who is this all I just like automatically naturally you're gonna look over there because I thought it was my burrito waiting to be yeah. delivered You know, I thought they were like oh, gonna shit. hand me my burrito. Yeah, so I turn and it like vanishes It's oh, gone my. and instantly like I just got like the chills like I couldn't yeah I couldn't like I couldn't breathe and like I just felt like I wanted to faint Yeah, because a lot of people don't see them so it mm -hmm. almost yeah so then as soon as like I was like almost about to faint then the person with my burrito comes in <laughs> then they come in give me my burrito <laughs> got the burrito and ran oh, out yeah. that place oh yeah ask yeah. me if i went back the next day i did because the burritos <laughs> oh, are so fucking oh, oh, no. i was like no <laughs> definitely not. yes well okay so then i go back mm -hmm. i go back because they had the best burritos on campus <laughs> And I'm asking the workers, I was like, do you guys ever see ghosts here? Because, like, that campus is very notorious for seeing ghosts because yeah. it's, it's a haunted campus. Like, yeah. it's a really, um, where the campus is laid in Denver, mm -hmm. it's it's an old burial, uh, what is it called? Indian, uh, burial, Indian burial ground. ground. Yes. yes. My mom's so, old high school was on it. Yes. So, where's my brush? So like it was, there's count, there's de countless stories. You can even look it up, of like haunted stories about that campus. So I was like asking if they ever like saw anything mm -hmm. in this house specifically, and they're like, yeah, we have an old couple that used to live here. Um, the old man usually like we we hear a lot of, um, a lot of our customers complain or like are scared because they get locked. He locks them in the. In the bathroom like he just oh, messes no. around he like pranks them oh, like, all no. the time he just messes around and, and he um, bored. yeah he's bored and they're like but nobody has ever seen the woman nobody's ever seen the wife huh. and i was like well they're like so the fact that you saw a woman is crazy because nobody's ever nobody's seen ever her. seen her before she's never shown herself to anybody oh shit i was like oh my god this looks so like glossy oh yeah that's the fenty oh the moisture one mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. right now I skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> happy halloween happy halloween <laughs> um so yeah i was like the first encounter they've ever heard of meeting that's so crazy the woman but that's just me like i just draw yeah i have that um ability to mm -hmm. draw that sort of energy and stuff right. Yep. Snap. So yeah, I see dead people. Well, if you ever see one in here, let me know because this I has been oh, this building has been here since like the 1800s. Oh my god! And it used to be a bank. Well, I have to sleep over. Yeah, girl, I swear I'd rather actually not because if you tell me there's a ghost in here, <laughs> oh my god, I gotta move oh out. Oh my god, <laughs> I gotta move out and actually like it here. So, okay. ghost busters, ghost snaps. <clears throat> I feel like the older I get, the more stronger my abilities are. That's actually, like, crazy because it's usually, like, the opposite. Yeah. Well, my gifts started coming to me well, when I was in eighth grade. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so <laughs> when I was 13. Oh, interesting. That is interesting. I never thought about that. Yeah, because that really is not usually how it goes. That's interesting. I'm a witch. I'm a bruja. You're a wizard, Harry. This is like a year or two ago. But yeah, so we were looking for a house um, to rent. And um, my mom found this one house. And so we went to go look, you know, do a little mm -hmm. tour. Mm -hmm. And I immediately as I entered the house, I felt sick. 
like oh, like I no. wanted to throw up. I, yeah. Again, that ties in with like the energy. Yeah. Like I'm an empath. I could feel things. Yeah. I just immediately wanted to throw up. Like I didn't want it. Like I wanted to go outside, but I was like, yeah, we we'll definitely can't live in that house. Yeah. So I was just felt weird, you know. Yeah. So then we're continuing the tour, and we go into the living room, and I see this big shrine, and it was like of. Uh, it was weird. It was scary. A shrine. a shrine is like where they have like, they like have like a picture oh, gotcha. of something and yeah. then they have an offering like they have like food and like yeah. beer and stuff. Well, that's what I saw. A shrine. Oh, okay. But the picture was of the Santa Muerto, which is like the Grim the, Reaper. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. no. The Grim, the Grim Reaper. That's what I saw and I was like, what the hell? Like oh, what? No. Oh, like this no. is... <laughs> Excuse me? Like, I was like, that is weird. Like, that's creepy. Yeah. Like, gave me bad vibes. So I took a picture of it, right? Mm -hmm. Then when I, like, was done with this house, I didn't want to live here because it felt weird. Didn't like it. Yeah. And then when my mom was done touring, she came out and she's like, I love the house. I want the house. Like, oh, let's, let's, no. let's, she this is it. She that? wanted to put an instant offer she on it. She didn't see that? So we're just going to ignore the fact that there was a yeah. shrine of the Santa Muerto in the living room and she's like what are you talking about oh shit and it i was like actually there i was like what are you talk what are you talking about and she's like i didn't see that she's like i saw a sh i saw the shrine of the maria guadalupe which is the virgin <laughs> mary yeah oh shit she's like i saw the virgin mary shrine in the living room and i was like mom i even no. took a picture of it and i showed it to her and she was like what She's like, I did not see that. Like, I literally saw the Ma Maria Guadalupe. That's why I had good feelings about the house. Oh, no. <laughs> and I was like, no, boo-boo. Uh, my mom was like, oh, hell no. So we immediately, <laughs> she imme she's like, let's go to Nene's house, which is my auntie. Uh huh. She's like, let's go to Nene's house. My, my Nene, she actually is like, she knows a lot of like, she she knows more about the spiritual yeah. world and stuff like she's our go-to when we mm. need to be blessed or like be yeah. healed and stuff so we went to nana's house and as soon as we got there um she was like oh no 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 she immediately got out her sage she's oh like i don't God. know where you guys just came from oh my gosh yeah she like immediately blessed us and wow. stuff and That's cleansed good. us and we told her what happened and she explained to us what happened. Mm -hmm. So she was like, so we, because of Koraima's ability of They're like gonna show seeing what really is there, seeing mm -hmm. the truth, seeing yeah. what actually is there, she was not affected by the charm that the spell was trying to do. Yeah. Okay. So like the, whatever that spell was, it didn't affect me because I'm, I'm I have this immunity to yeah. things like that. Yeah. I'm untouchable pretty much so that's why I felt sick because it was trying to push me out the house yeah like it was rejecting my my present yeah and because the reason why my mom saw what she saw was because she was the buyer and she was the one that was to be charmed yeah you know that charm was for her because she was the one who was yeah. looking to buy so that's why it charmed her to see good like the Virgin Mary when in reality yeah. it was the opposite of the Virgin Mary. Oh hell no. Yeah, dude, like ain't that fuck ain't that crazy? Well if I when I buy my house I'm gonna make sure they got no <laughs> pictures, period. Yeah. Anyway. You ain't about to be tricking my ass. My dad actually had one. Do you remember? Because he was now he's still a crazy driver, that's where I get my drivings from. <laughs> but when he was younger in his younger 20s, he was, because my grandparents live in the country, so they ha have, like, you know, long country roads and stuff, mm -hmm. and um, he was driving out there in his little um, car, like, his first car, and um, I don't know if he hit the school bus or the school bus hit him, but um, he... Um, he was hit and he had a lot of uh, blunt force trauma and he had a lot of glass in his forehead and stuff like that Like he still pulls out like little pieces of glass from his forehead that like migrates out a little bit oh my God. and um, 
but it was like a near-death experience so i remember and he's not really a believer into that kind of stuff like mm -hmm. he like will watch videos about aliens and conspiracies like all day long but when it comes to like spiritual stuff like that he's not really a believer but he had that near-death experience and um I remember him telling us about how he like seen like the white light and it was you know like a tunnel and his great grandma was at the end of the tunnel. Oh my god! And um, he that he was so close to his grandma. His great grandma lived right next door to his parents and um, because it's like a family property that keeps like getting passed down and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I remember him like telling me about it and um, how he felt like so much peace in that moment. And like obviously it wasn't his time to go, but. I always thought that was like really really cool because when people aren't religious it's interesting to hear them talk about yeah um stuff like that yeah but that was the only That's experience crazy. that he had so one time my auntie my auntie could she has like a lot of our ancestors come to her like mm -hmm. they appear to her in yeah. her dreams so like she's very she she can see them face to face and talk to them yeah. and stuff. Um, one time, well, it was, she was pregnant and she was ready to give like she was re she was due to give birth like mm -hmm. any day now. It was in October, yeah. October thirteenth, and um, our my great grandpa had died that day mm -hmm. on October thirteenth. Mm -hmm. All right. It was like, you know, I mean, he was old. Yeah. Like, it was his time, but he was, like, sad or whatever. But yeah. he had appeared that same day or that night or, like, around that time. Um, he appeared to my auntie. Mm -hmm. And he told, and all he told her was a name. Because my oh. auntie didn't know, she didn't know what to name her daughter. Like, the oh, baby girl that she yeah. had. And he appeared to her and gave her na a name. Aww. And that's how she named my cousin Evelyn. That is so precious. Yeah, he gave her the name. Yeah, and that's, that's what she named her. Name, yeah. My cousin. Ain't that crazy? That is. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna name my child. I have names, but I'm not gonna put that out there. I like the new like I don't like to have a name that everybody else has. I like something Same. that's like completely different. Same. And I like the idea of people like naming their kids after like like random like stuff, but not like just like a random thing like Kool Aid. <laughs> but like you know like different yeah. stuff like I like that. that well, I mean, trend. tell you what I want to name my. Kid but I want to name if I have a son, it's gonna be Kingston, which is not that unique but i love the nickname king um but yeah that's just for boys but for girls i don't know what you want i only have like two girl names and three boy names that's it that's it <laughs> <laughs> i got zero but you got two and three what's your favorite scary movie uh you know i like uh 13 Ghosts. It, what is it called? The movie with 13 Ghosts. It's like a house and they like, I don't remember, they do like a TV show in there or something, but there's like 13 different ghosts in the house. Okay. It used to scare the heck out of what? me when I was a kid. What was it called? 13 Ghosts. Oh. <laughs> But, um, I've never seen that. But The Bride of Chucky or like the Chucky movies oh, used God. to scare me as a kid too. Those ones used to really scare All the Amityville horrors are scary. Oh, too. yeah. There's just so many. There's honestly just so many. We getting there. We getting there. We're almost done. Two hours later. Would you ever go to a tarot reading or like a yeah. palm reading? There's one across the street. I think that's sketchy, but we could probably do it. Somewhere. I mean, we're in Louisiana. Uh, yeah, that's true. But it wouldn't, it wouldn't be bad then. I would ask locals where to go. Yeah, but I wouldn't mind doing that. You could vlog it. Yeah. Unless they be like, ah, no recording. I'm so tired of that shit. For real. Six hours later. <gasps> you scared me so <laughs> bad. I did not see that coming. Oh my god. <laughs> I almost stabbed myself in the eye. <laughs> Whole makeup look down the toilet. One eternity later. 
I'm dead. Girl, no way, me too. Oh my god! Good. Mine's just blah. Yours looks so bomb. No. Like, that looks better than the picture that you. What the fuck? That shit. What the fuck, bitch? You look like an actual, like. Leaf. Bath and Body Works candle. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Don't look at the faux freckles. Uh, to die for. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of our chit chats and this is this is basically what we do all the time. We just talk a lot of mm -hmm. things, you know, do that girl chat. I'm trying to get on her level with my makeup, okay? Okay, but she like needs to give herself some credit. Look at this. This Un lip, poquito. I'm dying. Un poquito. Un poquito. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and follow Shay on all forms of social media and I'll put the links in the description box hello go ahead and like subscribe comment tell your friends tell your mama's friends exes baby daddies <laughs> baby mamas side chicks sugar daddies neighbors pastures bosses all of them Stop. tell them to subscribe and tell them who your favorite fly girl is <laughs> peace the rabbit on the moon is pounding rice cakes